<clears throat> hey, let's go. Hey, Clavi. Where are we? We are in the church of San Juan de los Reyes, where we were outside yesterday, where we saw the chains. Chains. Um, chains. We're now inside, and we kind of surpassed our expectations in so many ways. It um, it says in the book that you'll see everywhere the two symbols of Ferdinand and, and, and Isabel, the Catholic kings, the Catholic monarchs. Um, carved everywhere. What is it? Um, it's seven arrows and a yoke. It's a symbol of Castel, where Ferdinand Son and Aragon were as well as from symbolizing the Union of Spain um, during their, their marriage and their reign. Um, and it's everywhere. <laughs> it's unbelievable. The number, it's everywhere. Um, that as well as their initials, F and Y, everywhere. It's insane. <laughs> it's mind blowing like the nature of this basically is such a politically constructed church. I yeah, it's interesting. It's beautiful. It's really, really beautiful. I mean it, it's also it's really beautiful because it's all so like, one that style. guy's got seven arrows with a corner. And it's gonna kinda yoke over there. Yeah. <laughs> They're like knocking it up. Yeah. I mean like, they named the church is San Juan de los Reyes, which is Saint Juan, and I'm sorry, out of uh, Saint John of the Kings, and upon walking in the name Nave, at, I don't know my church terminology, there's lots of eagles. That symbol of Saint John the Evangelist, who was one of his most favorites, um, on crowns above the shield of their United Spain. It's basically with, of course, seven arrows in the up. <laughs> so let's go check that out. Yeah, my favorite thing is these guys' heads sticking out at the uh, tabs of the columns. Yeah. Uh, kind of weird. I like it. You like weird. Creepy and weird. Pretty weird and pretty. Alright, okay. Me. Adios. By the way, that's an altar. <laughs>